Robert Boyle was born in 1627 in England. As he became an adult, Boyle was slightly interested in the sciences. Specifically, he was interested in Galileo's thought that mathematics is the language of the world. He quickly found a group of colleagues who were also interested in the sciences, and they deemed themselves the Invisible College. This group studied the new philosophy, which valued observation and experiment just as much as logical thinking and formulating scientific understanding. This group later became known as the Royal Society. Boyle tried his hand at alchemy, but could never get the grip on it. He did, however, practice it until his death in 1691. Boyle believed that the scientist's duty was to discover the laws that God had established during the world's creation. Almost like as if God had given the world a really hard puzzle, Boyle's first achievement dubbed him the father of modern chemistry. Not only did he create the term chemistry, but he taught others the science that went on with what it was. He defined elements, compounds, and mixtures, and even what a true chemical analysis was. Boyle published some of his research and findings in The Skeptical Chemist, a book that argued against alchemy and suggested a more modern view of matter. His book also said that making mistakes was okay, an important piece of the scientific understanding. All of his works were published so that others could recreate them, since it was all reliable. Robert Boyle was not only associated with the world of chemistry, he was also influential in the world of physics. Boyle's law states that the volume of a gas varies inversely with pressure. As pressure increases, the volume of the gas decreases, etc. This law was the first of the gas laws and helped establish other scientific findings. Boyle also found what caused heat, the movement of particles. Boyle was a fan of corpuscularism, a form of atomism that was replacing Aristotelian and Paracelsian views of the world. This idea replaced the four past elements, fire, earth, water, and air, with three new ones, salt, sulfur, and mercury. Robert Boyle was a devout Christian and performed all of his studies in the name of God. He believed that studying divine revelation was important too, and was shocked to hear that many people didn't have a solid foundation for their beliefs. He was so shocked that he took money out of his own pockets to have the Bible translated into many different languages, so that everyone could partake in the Christian faith. When he died, Boyle's will stated that he wanted what was left of his money to go to annual Boyle lectures. These lectures were associated with science. Psych! They had nothing to do with science at all. Instead, they defended Christianity against atheism and other forms of disbelief, thus showing how important religion was to Boyle. Boyle's lectures and findings are all still present in today's world, as is the fact that a passionate individual like Robert Boyle can indeed link the worlds of science and religion.